So I had some spare M.2 SSD drives lying around because I've upgraded all my computers and I've been looking for an enclosure that works as an external storage solution. One that doesn't take up half my desk and can support more than one M.2 drive. Then this showed up. The newly released TerraMaster D4 SSD. A four bay enclosure that supports M.2 NVMe drives, features USB 4 connectivity and offers up to 32 terabytes of capacity. TerraMaster sent us one for testing, so let's see if it's actually worth it. Inside the box, it's pretty simple. You get the enclosure itself and an accessories box. Inside that, there's a 24 watt power adapter, a USB 4 Type-C to Type-C cable, some extra screws, a screwdriver, and the usual paperwork. The D4 SSD itself is surprisingly compact. It has a matte finish, which gives it a clean and professional look. On the top, you've got a power button and some vents. On the back, there's the USB 4 port and DC power input. And at the bottom, you'll find two tiny fans for active cooling. First impressions, compact, sturdy, minimal, no gimmicks. Opening it up is easy. Just remove the thumb screw and slide off the cover. Each bay is labeled and supports 2,280 sized NVMe SSDs. I'll be installing four one terabyte NVMe drives these are PCIe Gen 4, which should be ideal for testing max speeds. The only downside? I don't have a USB 4 or Thunderbolt port, but I do have a 20 gigabits per second USB 3.2 port for testing. Installation is very straightforward. Insert the drive, screw it down, and close it up. It would have been nice to have included heat sinks, like TerraMaster did with the F8 SSD NAS, but you can always add your own if needed. One thing to note, the D4 SSD doesn't support hardware RAID, so if you want RAID, you'll need to set it up through your operating system or a third-party tool. I'll be testing software RAID 0 using Soft RAID, which is basically free, with some optional paid features. All right, let's talk speed. TerraMaster claims you can get over 3,200 megabyte per second read and 3,100 megabytes per second write with the right RAID setup. We'll be testing exclusively on Windows, since I don't have access to a Mac device. Creating a RAID configuration was super easy using Soft RAID, which is available for both Windows and Mac OS. You simply choose the RAID type, select the drives, and set the preferred size and format for maximum compatibility across platforms. Now, because I'm limited to a 20 gigabits per second USB 3.2 port, I used only two of the four available drives in a RAID configuration. The other two were formatted separately, one in NTFS and the other in XFAT. With two drives in RAID 0, I got around 1600 megabytes per second read and 1500 megabytes per second write, along with solid sequential and random performance. Interestingly, testing just a single drive gave slightly better results, which is unusual. You'd normally expect RAID 0 to outperform a single drive. I suspect this could be due to a driver or software issue on my system. Still, these speeds are faster than many portable SSDs on the market, so performance-wise, the D4 SSD largely lives up to the hype. Now, assuming your system supports Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4, you should be able to hit the advertised speeds. The D4 SSD uses the USB 4 protocol, but it's also backward compatible with Thunderbolt, USB 3, and even USB 2, so you can use it with pretty much any device. You can even connect it directly to your smartphone to backup files. For mobile use, there's the TDAS app, developed specifically for TDAS-compatible TerraMaster devices. With four SSDs installed, thermals could be a concern, but this unit stays surprisingly cool. I ran a long read-write benchmark to stress the system, and the drives reached a maximum temperature of 52 degrees Celsius. The D4 SSD has two smart fans, a top-to-bottom airflow design, and temperature sensors that automatically adjust fan speed to keep everything cool. And the noise? Practically silent, unless your room is absolutely dead quiet and the device is under full load. Even then, it's barely noticeable. So what can you actually do with this thing? Well, I used it as a storage drive for editing 4K video files, scrubbing, playback, exports, felt just like working off an internal SSD. No lag, no delays, just smooth performance. I also formatted one of the four drives in XFAT and connected it to my iPhone to record ProRes log footage. It worked like a charm. You can record high quality video without iOS errors or corrupted files. 
and you can capture hours of footage. And yes, the footage shows up in the Files app under hard drives just like any other external storage. Next, I installed a few games on my PC and launched them directly from the D4 SSD. Load times were identical to my internal NVMe drive, making this a great option for a portable game library. With up to 32 terabytes of capacity, this thing is absolute overkill. For video editors, photographers, YouTubers, gamers, or even anyone who just wants to back up family photos. If you're on Windows, TerraMaster includes a tool called TPC Backupper for scheduled backups. I gave it a quick spin. It's simple and supports different types of backups. For example, you can back up your operating system, entire hard drives, or even your emails. What's really cool is that it also lets you clone drives and partitions, which is super useful if you're upgrading your main system drive. You can also back up specific folders, and if you accidentally or intentionally delete something and want it back, just restore the backed up folder and you're good to go. For mobile users, there's also the TDAS app, which I mentioned earlier. It has a very basic interface, but it gets the job done. You can back up your photos and videos with just one tap, no PC required. That's especially convenient for people who don't even own a computer. After using the device for a while, I can confidently say it delivers strong performance, especially in terms of speed. It's compact, whisper quiet, and fits easily into a home or desk setup. The build quality is excellent. It supports up to 32 terabytes of storage, and it's mostly plug and play, aside from RAID setup, which requires a bit of extra know-how. Now for the downsides. There's no hardware RAID support, only software RAID, which limits cross-platform compatibility. For instance, while RAID works fine on Windows or Mac OS with tools like Soft RAID, you won't be able to access RAID volumes on mobile devices. That said, you can mix configurations. I used two drives in RAID and two as standalone storage, and that setup worked great. It's also a bit pricey, especially once you factor in the cost of the NVMe drives, but you're getting the latest tech in USB 4 support, which does a lot to future-proof your setup. So, final verdict? The TerraMaster D4 SSD is not just an enclosure, it honestly a top-tier device for external storage. If you work with large files, edit high-res video, or just want ultra-fast high-capacity storage that's portable and future-proof, this is it. Now, it's not for everyone. If you're just backing up Word docs and spreadsheets, this probably isn't worth the price. But if you're serious about speed, reliability, and maybe already have some NVMe drives lying around like I did, this enclosure really delivers. I'll drop a link below if you want to check it out. It's an affiliate link, so if you end up buying, it helps support the channel, but no pressure. Thanks for watching. I've got more storage gear and tech reviews coming soon, so subscribe if that's your thing. And let me know in the comments what's your current storage setup. See you on the next one.